Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. Now, shall we find out who our story's about today? Let's look through the cosminoculars. We bring our thumbs and fingers together and we have a look through. <gasps> wow! Look at those colours and those shapes. It's so pretty. Can you see the picture? What is it? It's a <gasps> unicorn. It's Twilight, the unicorn of dreams. Look, she's doing yoga. She's doing a half handstand. Oh, this is wonderful. A brilliant bedtime story. Let's get ready for the night. We stand up. We reach our arms up to the moon and we say to the moon, Hello, moon! We bring our hands together above our heads and we lean over one way, making a moon shape or a banana. Then we lean over to the other way and we make another moon shape, like a banana. Then we step our legs out nice and wide and bend our knees. We cup our hands around our mouth and we blow our moon up into a full moon, like a hot air balloon. Ready? What an amazing big full moon you are! We stretch our legs, we stretch our arms and we make a star shape, twinkling our fingers to feel a bit of extra sparkle. We can feel the star shine at the ends of our fingers. That's the stuff that dreams are made from. We tilt like a teapot down to one side and we sprinkle some star shine on our toes. Then we come back to the middle and we tilt over to the other way and we sprinkle some star shine to our other toes. Yes, we come back to the middle and we swish and we sway, spreading star shine all around us. Yay! Then we pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter it all over our faces and our heads like a rain. And it's lovely feeling star shine making us go all wibbly wobbly. We rub our ears and rub our jaws and. Oh, Ooh, we're coming down like we're drifting into a dream. Coming onto all fours, here come the woozy woozy sleep sheep, woozily waggling their woozy woozy tails. Oh. The woozy sleep sheep ba ba bounce over the fence. We tuck our toes and lift our bottoms. Ba ba bounce coming back down let's do that again ready ba ba bounce yay and one more time coming back down one two three ba ba bounce yay well done everyone we've come into a magical forest this must be where Twilight, the unicorn of dreams, lives. We find ourselves at a crooked tree. Standing up, turn to the side and bend your knees. Spread your big branches out wide and turn to the front. Yes, like a crooked tree. We climb up the tree. Ready? Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. When we get near the top, we put one foot on top of the other and we bring our hands together at our hearts. We grow our tree up nice and tall and, hmm, I wonder if you're feeling like a strong tree right now. Let me do the tree test. I'll try and blow you down. Ready? You stay strong. Let's see. Doopy dooby dee doopy dooby dee doo. <gasps> oh my goodness. You're still standing up. You are a strong tree. Let's climb a little bit higher. Ready? 
Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Oh, we're right at the top now. Let's try it on the other leg. Putting the other foot on top this time, bringing your hands together at your heart, grow your tree up nice and tall and, hmm, can I blow you down this side? Let's try. You stay strong. Ready? Doopy doopy dee doopy doopy dee doo. Oh my word, you are a strong tree. Goodness me. Oh. Now, we get to the top and we look through our cosminoculars again. Thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through and oh, we see a huge owl. Oh. He lands right in front of us. Coming down to your knees, we go twit. Woo, twit, twoo, he says. Twilight is waiting for you, twit, twoo. Hop on my back and we'll go, twit, twoo. Lovely, so we do. We stand up, we lean forward and we hold on tight as the owl swoops his big, big wings out to the side and he sweeps through the night sky over the treetops where we come into land by a lake. Coming down onto your knees, we bring our hands together and we say namaste to thank the owl. Namaste. Crossing your thumbs, he twit, 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 twoos off into the night. Wow, here we are by the lake. We sit on our bottoms and we bring the soles of our feet together making a big diamond shape with our legs. We look into the lake and it's such a beautiful clear night. When we look into the lake, it's like looking in a mirror. We look all the way down and we can see ourselves. We can see our faces. We can also see somebody else's face. It's twilight, the unicorn of dreams. Yes! Come up onto one knee, everybody, and bring your hands above your head. And just like Twilight, the unicorn of dreams, with her big pointy horn. Greetings, dreamer. Welcome to the lake. Come and help me spread starshine and give everybody good dreams. OK, let's get clopping. We stand up and we swap our legs and we come down the other way. We lift our hands above our head and we... Clop off. Great. We come to a very little house. Spreading your knees nice and wide, bring your hands above your head, making a little tiny house. Out of the little tiny house comes a little tiny mouse. Coming onto your knees. Squeak, 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 squeak. It's Matilda the mouse and she's holding a little jug. Standing up, take your feet out nice and wide. Bend your knees. Put your hand on your hip to make your handle. Put your other hand out to make a spout. Her little jug needs some starshine so that she can give her little baby mice some lovely dreams tonight. Twilight gets into position on one knee, lifting up her horn, and she points her horn into the little jug, and she goes whoosh, filling the little jug with starshine. Matilda the Mouse goes, squeak, 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 thank you, Twilight, thank you for my starshine. And Twilight and I, we quop, clop off together. Yay, it's great. Coming up now, we clop, clop, clop through the woods. And we come to a hole in the ground. Sitting on your bottoms, bring the soles of your feet together again and have a look down into your hole. Hmm. We wonder who lives down here. Who could it be? Oh! All of a sudden, out hops a hare. A hare is a very big rabbit with very long ears. Coming onto your knees again, take your arms behind your back and crisscross your fingers. Lift your arms up above your head and make your very long hair ears. Yes! This is Hilary hair. And Hilary hair is holding a carrot. She wants her carrot covered in starshine to give to all the little baby hairs before bed. Standing up, make a carrot shape. Yes, very good. Now, can you look like a happy carrot? 
Can you look like a sad carrot? <laughs> Can you look like a scared carrot? <gasps> Can you look like a cross carrot? <clears throat> Can you look like a disco carrot? <clears throat> Can you look like a kung fu carrot? <clears throat> yes, well done, everyone. Twilight gets into position. Coming to one knee, bring your hands above your head, and she whooshes her star shine onto the carrot. Whoosh! <laughs> Hilary Hare hops back down into her hole. Hands down, tuck your toes, and hoppity hoppity hop. Hoppity hoppity hop. Yay! She's got lots of lovely star shine to give to all the baby hairs for bedtime. We come back to the lake where there's a beautiful mermaid waiting for us. Swish your tail around to one side, sit up tall and look over your shoulder. She looks at us and she says, Bonne nuit, which means good night in French. She opens her arms and she gives Twilight a great big hug. Oh, mon chéri! Then she holds up her little pouch, which Twilight fills with the starshine. She takes the pouch and she puts it by her heart. The mermaid is going to take this under the water and make sure all the animals that live under the sea get lots of starshine so they all have nice dreams. She swishes her tail round the other side, looks over her shoulder again, back at us and says it again. Bonne nuit. Then she stands up, up on her fishy tail, whoop, and she dives into the water, swoosh, using her fishy tail to swim. Off she goes, into the night water. Oh, all of this lovely starshine has made us want to have a lovely sweet dream tonight. So Twilight blows us a lovely kiss. <coughs> We start to feel all tingly, like we're ready to have a lovely dream. We give Twilight a great big hug. Oh, it's been so much fun learning how wonderful dreams are made every night. We come to a magic carpet. Sitting on our bottoms, take your legs out nice and wide, arms out wide as well. We start to take off. <gasps> swirling around and around in a circle. And then time passes. We cross our legs, put our arms out to the side, and we go tick-tock like a clock until I find my centre. Did you find it? Let's try again. Ready? Tick-tock like a clock until I find my centre. Yay, well done. We're feeling lovely and sleepy now. So we sleepwalk to our beds, lying on your back. Take one leg long and lift the other leg up. Then take your arms out wide to the side. We swap our legs over, sleepwalking. One. Two, three. Ah, we get to our bed and we light a candle. Lifting up both legs now, flicker your toes. Looking at a candle flame. How lovely. Wow. We blow our candle out. <gasps> Bring our feet down to the floor, keeping our knees bent and join the soles of our feet together, dropping our knees out to the side. Bring one hand and put it on your tummy. Bring your other hand and put it on your chest. Let your eyes close and your breathing becomes slow. Ah, oh, what an adventure. How lovely to learn how dreams are made with twilight, the unicorn of dreams. She will always keep us safe at night. So we need never worry or be afraid. We just need to close our eyes and relax our minds.
And if we sleep well, tomorrow we will wake up wiser and stronger, ready for our day. Mm. What a peaceful feeling. I think we're going to sleep well tonight. Slowly bring your knees back together and stretch your body out long. Bring your knees into your chest and roll over onto your side. Coming up to sitting. With your legs crossed, your hands together at your heart. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. What a beautiful story. You did so well. I hope you have a lovely sleep this evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>Forget to join me on Saturday morning for Saturday morning yoga. Get everyone at home together and enjoy some family time. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one. I'll see you Saturday. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin, but first we're going to take a look through the cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, look at the colours. Oh, look at that, the pattern spinning around. Oh, can, can you see that? What is it? It's a hair. It's Mr Hoppet the hair. Oh, what's Mr Hoppet doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing dragonfly pose. Oh, that's very exciting. Now, Mr Hoppet the hare has recently been getting a bit grumpy about how busy his field is getting. So we start in our hair pose. Coming onto your knees, everyone. Crisscross our fingers behind your back and stretch your shoulders. Now folding your body all the way forwards, lifting your ears up above your head like you've got two long hair, hair ears. Now, Mr Hoppet the hare notices that his field is super duper busy. There's lots of activity in the hedgerows, coming all the way back up to sit. There are bees are buzzing, sitting with your legs crossed. Now we're going to put our fingers over our ears. We're going to hum and close our eyes. Here we go. Um, there are birds tweeting everywhere. Let's do our bird tweety pose. Wrap your arms around yourself and lift and lower your elbows as we go. Tweet, 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 tweet. And there are beetles scrabbling around on their backs willy-nilly, coming into our beetle pose, lying on your back, bending your knees all the way down and holding onto your feet. Now, have a good scratch on your back. Ooh, that feels nice. But Mr Hoppet the Hare has just about had enough. Coming up to stand, everyone. He brings his little paws onto his hips as he says, all these creatures coming in here, they think they own their place. But I was here first, so it's my field. Then Mr Hoppet the Hare squats all the way down, crouching down, and he strokes his furry chin as he thinks about what he's going to do about it. I know, I'll build a gate, and then I'll guard it, and I'll stop anyone coming in that I don't like. And he gets to work, building a gate, coming into gate pose up onto your knees, take your leg to the side and your arm up to the sky 
and then leaning all the way over to check that it opens. Now, more importantly, does it close? Let's bring two knees back together again, our other leg to the other side, our arm up to the sky, and check that it closes for Mr Hoppet. Now he gets to work making a sign for his gait. Sitting on your bottoms, your legs out in front of you, Mr Hoppet uses his foot to write. So see if you can get your foot over your arm and use your toes to write. He writes the words, no trespassing. Then he attaches some string. Coming up to stand, turning to the side, crisscross your fingers to attach your string and then folding all the way forwards to hang the sign over the gate. Now rolling back up to stand, Mr Hoppet the hare takes his hare position to guard the gate. Down onto our knees everyone, crisscross your fingers, stretch your arms and folding all the way forwards, taking your big ears up above you. Next along comes a frog. Coming all the way back up into our frog pose. Up onto your tippy toes, take your knees wide and take your hands in between your legs like froggy sticky fingers to hold yourself up. The frog does a big ribbity jump in the air. After three, one, two, three, ribbit. Mr Hoppet the hare stops the frog by standing up and holding his paws up towards him. He says, stop right there you, state your name and your business. Coming back into our frog pose, bending our knees, using our fingers for balance, the frog's a bit taken aback. But he says to Mr Hoppet, um, I'm Frank, I'm a frog, I hop, I croak and I swim. I, I like music, uh, rap music mostly, and I like dancing, hip hop, that sort of thing. And to prove it, he shows Mr Hoppet his singing and his dancing. Coming up to stand, bringing your heels together and turning out your toes and your hands to your hips. Now the frog, Frank, begins to bob up and down, bending and straightening his knees. And then he does his rap. Frogs go ribbit, frogs go croak. They leap in the air if you give them a poke, but leaping over lily pads is what we do best. So come on, all you froggies, put your leaps to the test. Then he finishes with the most ginormous ribbity leap over the gate. Coming all the way down into your frog pose. After three, big ribbity leap. One, two, three, ribbit. Cheerio. Mr Hoppet the hare stands up and he wobbles his face around Ooh, and he stamps his feet. Ooh, I don't know, why did he just hop over? I'm going to have to add to my sign now. No singing and no dancing. He sits down and he gets his pen out, using your other foot this time, bringing it up and over your arm to write no singing and no dancing. So now his sign says, no trespassing, no singing and no dancing. And he gets back into his hair position to stand guard. Coming up onto our knees again, everyone. Crisscross our fingers, stretch them back and folding all the way forwards. Next, a pigeon flies down. Coming all the way up and let's come into our pigeon pose. Crossing your legs, everybody. Now, Take your leg out to the side and take it all the way back behind you like you're drawing a circle until it goes all the way back. Use your fingers to stretch up with your chest. Yes, like a pigeon. Now the pigeon could have just fluttered over the gate. She didn't need to stop here because she's a bird. But she, does, she doesn't want to go against the rules. She respects the rules. And so here she is waiting for Mr Hoppet to let her in. Mr Hoppet stands up and holds his paws up at the pigeon. He says, stop right there, you. State your name and your business. Coming back into our pigeon pose, crossing your legs again, everyone. This time, take your other leg out to the other side. Draw a circle, taking it right the way back behind you so it's in a straight line, using your hands to lift yourself up. Our pigeon says, my name's Pamela, Pam for short, um, I'm a pigeon. So I fly, I build nests and I coo. I also like telling jokes because I like making others laugh. 
Would you like to hear one? Pan the pigeon thinks that this hare could really do with some cheering up, so she gets ready to tell him a joke. Right, I've got one. <laughs> what kind of key opens a banana? A monkey! <laughs> Mr Hoppet starts to laugh. Pam's on a roll, so she tells another joke. OK, I've got another one. Um, mm, oh yeah. What do you call a pile of kittens? A meowting. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Hoppet the Hare thinks this is the most hilarious thing ever. And so Pam the Pigeon takes this opportunity to fly over the gate. Coming up to stand with your feet together, everyone, your hands down. Now lift and lower your arms like you're a bird flying over the gate. Toodaloo! And coming back up to stand. When Mr Hoppet the Hare stops laughing, he wobbles his face. Ooh, and he stamps his feet. Oh, you don't believe that pigeon? She made me laugh with her jokes and she got over the gate. I'm going to have to add to my sign. So he gets to work adding to his sign. Sitting with your legs out long. He takes hold of his leg again, lifting it up over his arm to write on his sign. No laughing and no joke. Now his sign says, no trespassing, no singing, no dancing, no laughing and no jokes. And he puts down his pen and puts the sign back on. He's just about to take his guard position again when all of a sudden a large shadow is cast over him. Standing in front of him is a sparkly, beautiful unicorn. Coming into unicorn pose, everyone. Stepping one leg forward, your knee down, tuck your toes and your hands to your heart. The unicorn swishes its tail around. It's the colour of marshmallows and buttercups. And its horn, growing your arms all the way up above your head, looks to be made of pure gold. Mr Hoppet the Hare stands up, not impressed, puts his paws up and says, stop right there, you. State your name and your business. We come into our unicorn pose on the other side. Onto one knee, tuck your back toes, hands to your heart and grow up tall, making your beautiful horn. This unicorn says, wow, my name is lovely. I am a unicorn. I spread joy. I bring happiness and love with my magical powers. Why, I can make rainbows with my tail. And to prove it to Mr Hoppet, she does just that. With a swish of her tail, she makes the most beautiful rainbow appear, coming into rainbow pose. Onto two knees, everyone. Take your leg out to the side, your arms out wide. Drop down onto one arm and then take your arm, top arm up and over your ear like you're a beautiful rainbow. My goodness me. Then she does it again, swishing her tail another way, making a rainbow on the other side of the sky, coming to two knees again, arms wide. Take your leg to the side and drop down onto one hand. Stretch your top arm up and over your ear, making a beautiful rainbow. Wow! Mr Hoppet the Hare is standing, looking at the beautiful rainbows, mesmerised by it. And so lovely, the unicorn takes this opportunity to leap like a dancer over the gate. Coming into our dancer pose, everyone. Stretch up with one arm, take your other hand to the side and see if you can hold onto your foot back behind you. Trying not to wobble. Now kick your foot into your hand. As you kick, 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 you come into your dancer pose. She comes up to stand and blows him a beautiful sparkling kiss. As she goes, Mr Hoppet the Hare blinks like he's waking up from a dream and he wobbles his face. Ooh, and he stamps his feet. Ooh, that unicorn with her magic. I don't believe it. I'm going to have to add to my sign. And so he gets to work adding to his sign. Sitting on your bottoms, everyone, legs out long. He takes hold of his pen in his foot and he writes on the sign, no rainbows. So now the sign says no trespassing, no singing, no dancing, no laughing, no jokes, no rainbows. And Mr Hoppet the Hare sits 
with his legs crossed, feeling rather grumpy at what's going on behind him. He holds his chin. Hmm, it's not fair, this. He decides to have a peek at them all. He can hear them all laughing behind him, so he wants to see what they're up to. Sitting up nice and tall, bring one hand on your knee and your other hand behind you to sit up tall and twist to look around. There they all are, having a lovely time. That frog, he's laughing and jumping and dancing and singing. That pigeon, she's laughing and joking. And that unicorn, she's swishing her tail all over and making rainbows. Then Mr Hoppet twists and looks the other way. Coming to the centre, bring your other hand onto your knee, your other hand behind you, and twist and look the other way. He looks at his sign, at what it says. No trespassing, no singing, no dancing, no laughing, no jokes, and no rainbows. Hmm. Then he turns to face the front, and he takes a big, deep breath. <sighs> he thinks about where he is and how he feels, and something in him changes. He doesn't want to be here all by himself, with no friends. And all of those over there, they're having fun. They're having a lovely time. He'd much rather be with them. So Mr Hoppet the Hare opens his gate, coming into gate pose, everyone, up onto your knees, leg to the side, arm to the sky, and open your gate. Oop. He bunny hops over to them, bringing your hands down, tucking your toes, lifting your bottom, and let's do a hop. Ready? One, two, three, hoppity hoppity hop. And again, one, two, three, hoppity hoppity hop. He very kindly asks, would I be able to join you? I'm sorry about stopping you coming in. And they all open their arms wide to Mr Hoppet, giving him a big hug. Of course he can join them. They invite him to join them and sit on the crooked branch. Coming into your crooked branch pose, everyone. Arms wide, bring up your knees and then take them over one side, your head over to the other. And then switching sides, your legs over to the other side and your head to the other. Mr Hoppet the Hare is much happier here with his friends. We look back at the sign at the gate to see the sign has been taken down and the gate is now wide open. Slowly we bring our knees back to centre, sending them out long and our arms down by our side and we relax for a few moments. Wow, what a story about Mr Hoppet the Hare. He had to learn that he didn't own the field and that actually by accepting others, by sharing, his life became so much richer. He could have so much more fun. His life would be happier. We must all accept each other and love each other and celebrate our differences because by doing that, everyone's life and everyone's world will become a much better place. So wherever you go, stay open-hearted, share and accept and enjoy everyone's being so different and so wonderful. Slowly we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees into our chest to give them a hug. We roll over onto our side to come up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the story about Mr Hoppet the Hare. What a great story it was, inspired by the wonderful David Sedaris. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye! <laughs>
the Cosmic Kids Yoga Disco. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, dancing and lots of fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the disco. This one's called Bunny Bounce, where we do our bunny hop move. Can you see the bunny bounce? Through the hedgerows and the fields Then he stops and lifts his nose Before kicking up his heels We can all be bunnies too If we crouch down on our toes Wobbly, get set, go Let's strike that bunny pose Now to bounce, bounce, bounce You put your hands down, down Then you hop up your feet Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop beat. Do a little hop, do a big hop. Bounce up, one, two, three. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bunnies is all I see. Bounce like a bunny, hop like a bunny, bounce like a bunny, hop like a bunny. If you hop like a bunny, you can bounce like a bunny, you can hop till the day is done. How we love to bounce all day Skip and hop and jump and play Bouncing in the sun Being bunnies is so much fun That's the bunny bounce The bunny bounce The bunny bounce The bunny bounce Hop like a bunny, you can bounce like a bunny, you can hop till the day is done.